<laughs> Governor, uh, do you have a cost estimate yet on what this is going to be for the state? Uh, and has the commissioner given you an estimate as to when the extraordinary effort of uh, front end loaders on the highways, that sort of thing, will be over with? Um, well, first, I, I, I have no estimate yet. As I said, the FEMA people are coming in on Monday. We'll be working with them to, to work on cost estimates. Um, certainly, the commissioner has told me so far that um, you know, this is going to be perhaps one of the most expensive storm cleanups in the history of the state. So I'm expecting a pretty big bill. Um, and we're going to have to deal with it because this is one of the things government is here to have to do. And we will deal with it and do it well. As far as when the certain expenses are happening, I don't know. We're still in cleanup phase. So I don't want to speculate. I really don't want to speculate on it. You know, it's a major effort. I don't think we've had a storm like this in maybe 30 or 40 years. Do you, uh, I guess the question would be if, if, if you can't say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, do you see any short term end in the next couple of days? Short term end to. What? To the cleanup effort. The cleanup is almost done. What we're doing now is we're trying to just clear out uh, some of the uh, clover leaves and things like that. For the most part, we're done. We've uh, offered to help. There was an article in one of the newspapers this morning that I had seen at 5:30. I think it was Brick and Neptune. We sent our own local forces out there to look at the local streets. We also reached out to the OEMs, and I don't know if we've heard back yet, but we're looking when we finish and we unwind while we have this heavy equipment. Maybe we can give some additional support to the communities. I think Delmar may need some support. So this is not over yet, and Mike. We're still in the phase. We have, you know, everybody's been working. The bills won't come in for 60 days or so. So we're, you know, we're not there yet. Commissioner, many of the tow trucks that were needed in those front end loaders were basically snowed in. Right. What preparation was done for the storm to, say, get them out before it was too late, or to start prepping the roads before things got really bad? Everything was prepped that could be prepped. What happened was basically you had let's take a tractor trailer or interchange. The tractor trailer gets stuck. The snow plows are stuck. Then you try to get a. Uh, a tow truck in, and then the tow truck gets stuck. <clears throat> then you need another tow truck to get the other tow truck that was stuck, and on top of that, they're all stuck. Now you need a front end loader. Then all the interchanges on 18 specifically were jammed. There was no way to get onto 18. The front end loaders uh, had to build a new path to get onto 18. When I flew over, um, I guess I don't forgot what day it is, but I think it was Tuesday morning or Wednesday morning. I think it was Tuesday morning. When I flew over Route 18, a pilot said, There's 18 off at uh, 1 o'clock. I said, I don't see 18, I can't see these, they're right below you. I said, I see a dry uh, uh, riverbed, but I don't see a road. The snow was over the cars. The, the only thing you could see were the nine <coughs> DOT trucks that were stuck, and four of them went off the road because there was no road. You had a blizzard at 50 miles an hour, and when the snow was falling like that, you lose the road. So as of yesterday, we had four DOT trucks stuck off the side because they thought it was the road. Um, we had four in a row, three or four in a row that got stuck. And uh, when I first got there, and I was yelling, why aren't these trucks moving? They said, well, we need the front end loader to get the trucks. This became a logistical problem. It was not an equipment problem. But trust me, this was a logistical problem. And anybody that knows flow dynamics or logistics or traffic management will understand that if you block the supply chain, the troops or the equipment are not getting to the front. It's as simple as that. 